Hi, welcome to Blackberry Store's first set of videos for 2015. Today we're taking a look at the new Blackberry Classic. We'll be having a look at a few of the different cases and some colours. So what I've got for you first today is we're going to compare the Blackberry Classic Leather Pocket, which for those of you who've been using Blackberry for a long time, you're probably very familiar with. And also we're going to compare it to the soft shell. The reason I'm comparing the two products is because for most of you, you'll have one or the other. It wouldn't suit that many people to have both. You can't use them in conjunction with each other. So let's start taking a look. So I've only had my Blackberry Classic for a few days. I'd normally use a hard shell or a soft shell. But let's take a look, first of all, at the Blackberry Classic leather pocket. So I've got the black one here. I've been told there's also a white one coming. And the usual white that you get with Blackberry is usually like an off white, like an eggshell type white. It won't be bright white. Okay, just a little bit of packaging, I'll just remove that. And typically to begin with, it feels like a very well made product. You've got a little bit of red stitching on the side there, a little bit of detailing, the Blackberry embossed logo on the back. It looks nice, doesn't smell particularly leathery but it feels like a, a well-made quality product you can see. You can see the quality of the stitching on the side. Okay, so typically with these cases, the screen should go against the back of the case. That's the first time my phone's ever been in this particular leather pocket. And we've had them in the past. When you first start to use them, they can be extremely tight. So we'll try and pull the classic out there. Yeah, that's not too bad. And it's brought the screen back to life for me. So if I slot it in, just have a little peek down there, the screen's off. Not sure how, if you're gonna be able to see that on camera. And I take the phone back out, come straight back to life, which is terrific. So that's the sleep function. So that does aid and help battery life. Let's go back in again. So what I like about this case, which I've complained about in the past, is the very top of this particular leather pocket, it does just breach the edges of the new Blackberry Classic. So if I drop my phone on the corner, it's going to protect the edges of the phone. If it comes down perfectly, then it's not going to get any protection from this case, but the likelihood of that happening is probably fairly slim. So with the Classic in the correct way, at least all of the screen's protected and the corners are protected too, just by the little back piece here. In terms of access to the phone now, we've got the headphone jack, we've got the sleep power button at the side there. You couldn't really access the down volume on the right side, but you could certainly get the first two buttons in a row there. So in terms of charging, obviously the charging point has gone back to the bottom of the phone because we've got charging pods again now for the Blackberries, which is fantastic. But you won't be able to charge your phone whilst it's in the leather pocket. So one of the great things about using the leather pocket is, funnily enough, it works really well if you've got some maybe tighter fitting jeans on or you've got a fairly slim pocket in a jacket or a blazer, it'll slip in really nicely and particular surface feel on here, it won't provide a lot of grip. It would slide around fairly easily to be honest, so it wouldn't work that great on the dashboard of your car or something. Okay, so I'll pop that one to the side for now. It certainly feels really well made. Let's take a look at the soft shell. So I'm going to start with this white one. It's not really white, it's quite transparent. I'll take it out. I'd say it's, it's closer to clear than it is white. I want to take it out, hopefully you'll be able to see that a bit better. So obviously you can see my fingers very easily behind. If I pop it onto the classic now, obviously it should just clip in very simply. And there you go, you can still see that the phone's black. The camera and the flash at the back's exposed, the headset jack's exposed. We've got access to the buttons and we've got the sleep button at the top. So that's working pretty well. Sometimes with these plasticky style cases, the buttons aren't fantastically aligned, but I'm pretty happy with that one, that's quite good. So the nice thing to see is, and again, I've complained about this with soft shell cases before, this one does have a probably a millimeter or two raised above the screen. So if my phone goes down flat onto the surface, the case is going to take the brunt of the fall there, which is great to see if you've ever cracked or damage the corner of your phone before, it does make it really messy and quite expensive to repair. So let's have a look at the case in a bit more detail. It's quite thick. It's 
slightly grooved on the back. It would still be reasonably slippery, I would have thought. No different to the, no different real kind of surface texture to the leather pocket, to be honest. The edges are nice and thick. If we have a look here, these cases many years ago, I'm talking back to the old Curb 8310 and that sort of phone, where the cutouts are, they could tear quite easily. That's very thick and I can tell you that would be very, very hard to do on my own. For me to break that, I'd probably have to use something sharp. Even on the corners, if I try and really tear that apart, I'd have to put, a, you can see how much pressure I'm applying to that now. So you can rest assured, it's pretty tough stuff. So at the bottom, we've got some cutouts for the speaker microphone charging point. It's very tough, really, really strong. If I pull that really, really hard, I think it, I could possibly tear it. Mm, actually, I'm not sure. It's very flexible. It does bend a lot. So very good quality, extremely well made, and it'd be a great price for an authentic BlackBerry accessory. And that's probably gonna look after your phone pretty well once it's in there. The reason I've always liked the soft shells and the hard shell cases is because my phone can stay in there the whole time. I'm not taking it in and out. As much as I love the soft leather pockets and I've used them in the past, I've lost them in the past. I can easily put them down on a desk in a, in a business meeting or in a car and leave it there and walk away without it. The nice thing with the soft shell is my phone's gonna stay on here the whole time. Unless I was charging it via a charging pod, which we'll be making a video of that very soon, this case is gonna stay on here. So I think maybe having the soft shell case with a screen protector is a pretty good setup for daily use. So before you go, I'll show you the other colors and how they look on the phone. They might have some transparency to them as well. So I'll put the clear one off to the side. So this is the black one I've got here now for you. So very, very small amount of transparency. I'm not sure if you can see my fingers moving behind, but it's very, very dark. Phone on, looks very smart. Obviously the same build quality as the transparent case. Button's not working quite as well on this one. Just try that again for you. I'll say I'm having to push that down quite hard for that button to activate. But typically with these soft cases, once they warm up a little bit and they mold ever so slightly to your phone. And finally, we'll move on to the blue. So in some of the marketing images, the blue looks like a fairly royal blue. In actual fact, it's quite a dark blue. Now it's on the phone, it's very dark. If there wasn't any light reflecting off the case, if there wasn't any light reflecting off the case or you weren't in a particularly light area, it could easily be mistaken for black. So there's the three color soft shells. You've seen them in comparison to the leather pocket. So there's our two cases. You've seen them in comparison to each other. There's also a leather holster. The leather pocket will come in black and white and you've seen the clear slash white and also the black soft shell. There's also a leather holster which I'll have here in a separate video, official BlackBerry screen protector, and a few other new cases that are coming along the way. Thanks very much for watching. If you found the video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get all the latest videos as they come out.